What's going on guys? Last episode I showed you the new features added to base building, which included the new generic room, glass corridors and the observatory, all which look very awesome indeed. Uh, my idea for today's episode was to build a new base um, and sort of see where we are in terms of progression of the base building because in my last episode there was a lot of bugs. So I came on to Subnautica about 20 minutes ago and I was going to start the episode and I, uh, I pulled out my builder here and to my surprise there was the moon pool sitting in the builder menu and it's there ready to build. So my idea for today's episode has changed quite drastically. Um, it's to build a, a new base but with the addition of the long awaited moon pool. I'm so excited uh, so I'm just going to get straight into this I'm going to build a new base. Um, and obviously I'm going to add that moon pool onto it once it's done because uh, I'm dying to see what this is like so I'm just going to get straight into it and build myself some foundations here because uh, my, my original idea for today's episode was to just sort of see where we were in terms of progression in, of base building uh, in terms of like where the bugs were because in my last episode there was quite a few and I just sort of wanted to come on today and just sort of see where um, where we were basically and then I just saw the moon pool and I thought wow there it is so um, is there anything else new added not as yet but hey ho there you go uh, so if I why do I want to build this So, I want to get onto this as quick as I can, so let's uh, build this here. And I'll probably stick another one there, and I'm hoping uh, that the moon pool can literally just sit on the edge of this here. It does. It's quite big too. It's a big room. Okay, so here it is. This is the moon pool. So it's uh, it's here, but the artwork obviously isn't finished. It's still. It looks like the um, the power generators and stuff like the new ones that were added, uh, like an unfinished sort of texture. So scanning the aurora. Zero life signs detected. Lethal radiation levels detected. The main drive core has malfunctioned. The primary dark matter containment field has dropped to 36% amplitude. Continuing to monitor. Okay, so this is going to be a, a temporary front door because I, I, I dislike those things down there. It's not a place to have your front door. But it's basically just so I can get inside the moon pool and test this thing. Okay, so here it is. This is the this is the inside, and I guess that's the uh, just an open pool there. I can imagine uh, in a later update that this is going to have like a you know like a texture of water on the on the surface, most likely. But wow, this is this is awesome. Um, I'm, I'm gonna go outside. I'm gonna spawn. I'm gonna spawn myself a sea moth uh, and sort of see if it's working properly yet. Uh, to be honest, that's all I'm interested in. Wow! Can you build a a window on this? Maybe. Not yet, but maybe. Maybe at another time. So spawn. See, Moth, I am using dev commands, obviously just for the sake of this video. Um, so, there we go. By the way, I, I want to mention this is the experimental version of Subnautica, so this... 
Ooh, okay. This uh, this isn't in the normal version of the game so far. <laughs> okay, so obviously there is still a lot of work to be done because that's not even uh, like accepting my sea moth. But wow, doesn't that look awesome? That just makes bases look ten times better with that on the end of it. So when it's got the whole like textures and stuff on it, that's just gonna look even better. So for now, I'm just gonna park in right here. Let's swim back around. I'm just gonna go sort of see what sort of size I guess the sea moth looks like. Is that new? That is definitely new. That that hatch has changed. It used to stick out a little bit more. So yeah, there's a new hatch. And I'm sure you can now... I'm going to test that now, I guess, whilst I'm here. You should... According to the check-ins, you should be able to build a ladder. Yeah, but I guess not currently. But anyway, let's go take a look. So, obviously when this is working properly, the sea moth will be grabbed by these arms like they get uh, taken in in the cyclops. It'll be most likely the same idea. And I can imagine that um, I think you can I think you can dock your exosuit in here as well, you know. So that'd be pretty awesome too. So you could switch it up a bit and have your exosuit rather than your sea moth. I'm just gonna save the game right here because I wanna test something and I think this will go wrong. So I'm expecting to load my game again, which is I'm just gonna walk out here. And the, the thing that I was expecting to happen, happened. So maybe I can just get around this by killing myself. I can indeed. <laughs> Let's uh, find where it was again. That's pretty cool. But anyway, uh, after that initial excitement there from the moon pool, I'm gonna, I'm gonna carry on with my uh, base, I think. Okay, so what is that? That's a bug. It's a definite bug. Uh, Okay. Might as well report this. Uh, oops. There we go. I th well, that's probably to do with because um, you can build a ladder un underneath the corridor, so that's probably just a glitch with the protection stuff with that, so I'm just going to go ahead and uh, remove this as a entrance, because I'm not liking those things down there at all <laughs> so I'm just going to I'm probably just going to leave that moon pool there in all its glory, carry on building my base here so where do I want to go with this? I may build a couple of windows here. And on the side too. Okay, it's not letting me build on there. For whatever reason. Maybe uh, if I go inside. Okay, 
Okay, so I can't actually build a room on the end of that, so I'm going to have to extend that corridor, I think. So, let's, uh, let's just place that there for now. Let's remove this one. build some reinforcements I think in this, uh, otherwise my base is going to start flooding, which I don't want to happen. Well actually I do, um, that was going to be part of my episode, um, I was going to test uh, where the animations are um, currently with flooding, because uh, last time they didn't seem to be working all that well, so let's, uh, let's see if we can initiate a flood, shall we? So yeah, there's that uh, thing there. Oh well, it's nothing major. So that's awesome. I'm liking this. So let's uh, start doing the base up a little bit, shall we? I'm loving these like really big windows. Gives you a nice view. So yeah, let's, uh, let's do the same in here. I may leave that one how it is because I may build another corridor going in that direction. So sort of terra terraform through that wall there. So. Can we build bulkheads in here now? We can. Uh, obviously there's still little bits of uh, details missing on that, but you can now build them in glass corridors, which is Caution. cool. Readings from the Aurora suggest erratic fluctuations in the primary dark matter containment field. A breach of the main drive chamber may cause a cascading quantum flux detonation. So let's just see if we can build them in. Uh, can build them on these, I think, now as well. Yeah, so we can build them on the edges of uh, L shaped corridors, the glass ones. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna save it again here. Welcome aboard, Captain. And then try and build a second floor to the generic room, and then try building a ladder up into it because uh, it doesn't seem to be working from the ground floor of the first one. So if I build that there. Around here, let's, uh, let's check if this is going to work now. Okay, yeah, so I think you've got to build the actual second floor for the ladder to be able to go up into it, so there it is. Pretty cool. Let's build some windows up in this place. Uh. Awesome. Gives a nice view of the base from uh, from above. And I'll do these back three panels as reinforcements so we don't uh, completely screw up the base. Okay, so I'm on 30, uh, 30 strength now, so I think I could probably build uh, a couple more windows here. Bit of a nicer view. Okay, nice one. So that's working uh, a lot better now. It was very buggy uh, last time. So let's, uh, actually, let me, let me go back up. And deconstruct this window. 
uh, cause I want to build a, another observatory and see if they've fixed the uh, ability to not be able to rotate the observatory while you're trying to build it. Um, I'm hoping that's been fixed. So if I come over here... Last corridor coming off this top wall here. Fingers crossed. No, it's not been fixed yet. So it kind of rotates itself by the looks of it. If you look on the right hand side of, um, of the observatory now, you can see where it would connect. Like it looks like the end of the corridor, but then when you bring it in different locations, it sort of spins it around. So that's it's clearly a bug still, but there you go. Uh, oh no, okay. Uh, so it's kind of been fixed, just not the ability to rotate it. But there you go, that looks awesome now. Uh, so that's the observatory. Nice one. Uh, so yeah, it's cool that they fixed that. The observatory. That's awesome now. Let's just go take a quick look at the other one. Let's see how that's looking. Oh, nice. They've added a new voice uh, to that. So. And a power, Warning. power up. Power only. Oh, nice one. Okay, so they definitely uh, added new stuff to that also, uh, as you could tell. So there's a new voice there. Um, so I don't know if you heard it. There's like a power up sound. I'll try that again. There's like a power up sound when I place that. There it is. Okay, so that's still a little buggy, but nonetheless, that is cool. That's like a nice little touch for when you build build power sources. So, so there when it said um, running on backup power, I assume that's. Um, I don't think I've got it in my blueprints here. Is it still there? No. When the um, the power storage, uh, more than likely when you build one of those and store power in there. Um, if you like run out of energy from solar panels or your other power sources, um, whatever power you've got stored up in your power storage, that's probably going to run your base for a limited time on that storage uh, of electricity more than likely until that runs out. So I'm liking this, it's like so you've got to keep on top of your energy levels and um, you're going to have to be sort of careful like maybe if you use your fabricator it'll use a percentage of your energy level every time you build something or create something in your fabricator or your workbench etc. Um, even probably docking your CMOF uh, and other stuff like that it may use like a, uh, a level of your electricity uh, that you've got to keep on top of so I'm, I'm liking that I hope that's uh, how it's going to work I'd assume um, that would be how it's going to work once it's all implemented properly so um, obviously I think if I go onto this power tab here you can see that there's only the power, uh, solar panel and the power transmitter. I think you have to find the blueprints for the other three items. Um, so like obviously they'll be scattered around the world and you'll have to find those somewhere so um, I like that idea, it's, you know, it's not just handing you everything on a plate, you've got to go out and explore the world and find it, so that's pretty cool. So 
So, the next part of the video that I wanted to show you is this. It's the Grand Reef. And as you can see, there's been some work done on this. Quite a lot, actually, from the last time I was here. It was quite bare last time I was here, actually. So, obviously, you can see there's these guys flying around, uh, swimming around, rather. And there's sort of fish schools here. And uh, is this the the membrane tree? I think that's what it's called. Does it tell me when I play it? Go near it? Yeah, the membrane tree. Which looks pretty damn awesome. This, this generally just looks really nice. Uh, new textures on the ground and stuff, and new plant life. And they've added loot as well, so let's check what's here. So we've got lithium, some gold, and these uh, these look new also. So what have we got here? Ah, that's aluminium oxide crystals. So that, I think, is... Oh yeah, obviously I don't have them. Uh, I'm sure it's to do with the... Um, like a construction of one of the other power sources, the new ones. Um, so this is where you'll come most likely to find that. Um, so there it is. Uh, it's the same thing again. Yeah, aluminium oxide. So there's a lot of uh, loot around here as well. So it's gold, a lot of quartz by the looks of it. lithium there. So this area is going to look really nice. The Aurora show severe instability in the primary drive core. The central dark matter reactor will reach a supercritical state in T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, Goes the Aurora. <laughs> so, as I was saying, uh, obviously there's been loads added to this. The um, what are these things called again? I don't think I've ever actually found their name out. So they've never been labelled. Um, let's just call these the, um, the big spheres. The big spheres have got a sort of nice glow to them now. As you can see on the rock there, there's a bit of a glow coming off them. So that's pretty cool. All this has been uh, textured out. Um, that was all sort of like plain looking rock last time I was here. Let's just go and have a look around and see what else is new here. That appears to be the, the, where it joins to the earth, and that's the sparse reef zone that way. So we'll zip around this, uh, this area and see what's new. Maybe there's some newer stuff lower down, perhaps. It's a huge area, this. Like, oh, hello. Is this a cave? Oh, some bad guys down here. Better watch out. So, are we in a cave right now? I think, I think we are in a cave. This is a whole new cave system. Nice. I don't know if you can hear that. There's there's new music and also I can hear like geothermal activity, so there may be 
thermal areas down here, so you could uh, most likely build your base down here and use the thermal pockets if I can find them. I can definitely hear them. Ah, here we go. So it kind of looks like this joins up with the inactive lava biome. Because you can see that colour of the water, it's like that fiery glow to it. Ooh, okay. I need uh, I need batteries. Whoa, what's this? That came out of nowhere. What was that? Did that just move or is that just me? Because that just sort of popped in. Really? That is awesome. So that's like a, a moving lava flow, like how it would act in real life. So the lava comes out, it's like hot liquid, but then it meets the water and turns into land. So I wonder how, how far that would go. Like, would that just keep going if I stayed here? May do. I'm curious to find out now, but I, I really want to just like keep going. But this has intrigued me. That's awesome. So this game just keeps getting better and better every time I play it. It really, really does. So I'll I'll carry on a little bit and I'll come back and check on where that's got to maybe. Oh, does it disappear? Yeah, I think it disappears. That's unfortunate, but there you go. Does this So Anyway, let's uh, get distracted by the awesomeness. This is more than likely going to be the inactive lava biome that's underneath the aurora, probably. Well, it probably all connects up anyway. I'd guess. So yeah, this this all looks like it's been recently done because I remember when um, I first went to the inactive lava biome, the first one that I found, it was all kind of bubbly like that at the back there. You see it? So that's obviously still uh, new terrain, but even so, still awesome. Let's carry on down this way. I'm sure I've been to uh, this bit before. I recognise these two like landmasses here. I'm not sure how I got here last time. Though. But this is definitely uh, oh, that drops down a bit. But this is definitely looks like it's going to be all done up into a new uh, newish lava biome, which I hope is as Awesome looking as the last one. So this just keeps going way down here. So guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna end today's video here. It's been a good one, definitely. I've enjoyed making this video. Seeing the moon pool in its early forms. And seeing the bases coming along nicely, without any bugs. It's awesome. And that ground reef is looking sweet. Can't wait to see more on that as well, so until next time guys, take it easy.